sketch the graph of y equals minus 2, square root of x plus 4, minus 3, by using the graph of y equals square root of x. Now, what we're doing here is we have a base function, square root of x. We'll perform a series of shifts and stretches. So we're going to work from the inside to the outside. So first, we need to get a handle on our base function. So y equals square root of x. So I'll pick three good numbers, 0, 1, and 4. OK, we'll apply square root of x. It's going to give me my y values. So the points 0, 0, 1, 1, and 4, 2. So there's 0, 0, 1, 1, and then we go over 4, up 2, connect the dots. So that's my graph of square root of x. Now, what's our first operation? So for things that are on the inside of your original function, they're going to affect what happens along x. They're going to be on the outside of your original function. They're going to affect your y values. So if you take a look, our first operation is going to be on the inside. We're going to take x, replace it with x plus 4. So that's going to change our x. So let's take a look. Now, our first step is going to be to go to y equals square root of x plus 4. So that's on the inside. And when we're on the inside, the effect is going to be the opposite of what you would think. So if I replace x with x plus 4, what you would think would be you want to shift to the right by 4. But since it's on the inside, you do the opposite. So we're going to shift our graph to the left by 4. Now, let's see that our numbers pan out. Now, the idea here is, OK, well, let's think about this. Forget about the x plus 4. Just call that box. So the idea would be is if I stuck 0, 1, or 4 into box, out will come these nice numbers 0, 1, and 2 that we've already worked out. So the idea is I want to stick 0, 1, and 4 into box. But now we're going to call box x plus 4. So the way I get to stick these numbers into box is if we first solve for x plus 4 to see what x gives us our good numbers. So solving x plus 4 equal to each of these, we get minus 4, minus 3, and 0. So our new points are going to be minus 4, 0. That's where 0, 0 goes to. Minus 3, 1. That's where 1, 1 goes to. And then 0, 2. That's where 4, 2 goes to. If you sketch these points, what do you know? We're going to have this graph here. And that's just taking our original graph, sliding it to the left by 4 along x. Next step, we're on the outside of the square root of x plus 4 now. So we're affecting y values. So if I multiply by a minus 2, we affect y values. What's the geometry? Well, we're going to stretch along y by 2. And then multiplying by a minus 1 is going to change positive y values to negative y values and vice versa. So you're going to flip in the x-axis. Now let's take a look at our points. So here, okay, our square root of x plus 4 is what's in the y column. So we're going to multiply that by a minus 2. So it's going to carry us to the points minus 4, 0, minus 3, minus 2, and 0, minus 4. So we plot our points. So we have minus 4, 0 stays where it is. Minus 3, 2. That flips down and then stretches by 2. And then 0 minus 4, again, we flip down, stretch by a factor of 2. Connect the dots. And that's going to be the sketch of this part of our graph. So that's that there. OK, final step. We're going to take our graph of minus 2 squared of x plus 4, subtract off 3. Again, since we're affecting the y values, you do what you would think. So here, we're just going to take our graph, shift it down by 3. Now, check that with the numbers in our points. So what are we going to do? Again, we have minus 2 square root of x plus 4 in the y column here. So we're going to take each of these values and subtract off 3. So we're going to go to minus 3, minus 5, and minus 7. We plot our points, and what happens? So our minus 4, 0, which was here, goes to here, just down by 3. Our minus 3, 2, which is right here, goes down by 3. And then our 0 minus 4, which is here, goes down by 3. We connect the dots, and that's going to be our final graph. Now, of course, if you want to check, okay, this is a pretty weak check, but 
you should do it. Just stick your three points into your original equation. Make sure you get that minus three, minus five, and minus seven out. So we compute each of these. We put in a minus four, minus three, and a zero. Crank out the numbers, and then you'll note your minus three, your minus five, and your minus seven come out. So our three points are definitely on the graph of this thing.